Hello everybody, welcome to week two of Era BB. Um, up against Tapioca King, who has orcs, um, doesn't have any skills, he does have an apothecary. Um, sadly, I did not get the apothecary, I won the game, so I've got a plus one and a reroll, and failed to get 50k, so... Pretty sad about that, honestly. You know, game one apothecary would have been great. Um, and after we get the apothecary, just going to save up for... Probably like you no know, for the fourth blitzer and the and the second witch elf, and then get the third reroll. The idea was to really delay getting the rerolls, um, with this being the first season and player development being of utmost importance. But then on the other hand, the third reroll lets you try vanity passes, doesn't it? So maybe I'll go for the third reroll anyway. And also, I can't help but try and win. So <laughs> um, it is what it is. Do I receive an Daka? I'd rather kick than I know what I'm doing. So I do. Hello. I should remember to talk to my opponent this time. Amazing. Totally forgot. Last one. Mr. Throne. Something like that. Alright, so got the third reroll. Is he okay? Or maybe he's a thinker. Maybe he likes a good tink. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I can't help myself, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. Really sad on having the app, all that makes this. A lot more likely to be randomly pissed off by someone dying. But you know, obviously it's not that bad, right? Even if like a witch elf or the blitz has died, it's not, it's not that bad. It's just 
blood bullshit, isn't it? Honestly. <laughs> Maybe I should have just gone dwarves, honestly. Hello, Chavita. Instantly banged on here. Two, two stuns and a KO for the LOS. Wonderful. Mm. Can I be clever here? There's only one way to find out. Not very was the answer. He hasn't got guards, we could only one day the witch. I'd still rather not have it one day though. Yeah, I don't know J5. I think there's a lot of new play newer players in the league. And they like having time to think a little bit before they uh, before they do the things. I mean, it is what it is, isn't it? You can see the point of like three minutes if people are new. And... It is what it is. At least it's not four minutes, eh? Hello, screw up. Three, five, eight. I know you. I know you took some great photos, uh, Skuro, at NickCon. But, well, or rather, after NickCon. But look, look what I have produced. I'm pretty proud of these. Maybe I should. Maybe I should be a professional photographer. <laughs> Store and get in in the wild. <laughs> Pretty happy with myself when I thought of doing that. This is tough, isn't it? You know, based up the side ones. Um, so if I want to hit them, I'm giving up the center, which I don't really want to give up the center. I could blitz him. But even then, I'm still... 
being too much in the centre. So blitzing this guy looks the only realistic thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that looks like the only realistic option. And then these two, though, that cause them a bit of problems, doesn't it? Having players. They're even prone. <laughs> yes, that's true, school. That's true. Yeah, I mean, Skuro likes to, you know, not sorry, Skuro. J5 likes to play as absolutely fast as possible. Um, so, yeah, there's not going to be any. Uh, any any meeting of the minds or anything it's definitely a, a great to disagree thing I mean I, I obviously personally would choose two minutes but uh, I can understand people going with three I think four is is extreme you know I think I think four is the thing I'd object to I can understand people you know citing all the reasons that Javide said to have three but I think four is is really extreme. It was okay assisting with the witch here, I think, because if he does blitz him, because obviously he'll get a block blitz if he wants. And at least he's like not getting forward. He's got the more reinforced area. If he uh, if he leaves the witch over here, then the witch can just dodge away with dodge. Because she wasn't going to be marked afterwards. I could all if I powered him out of powder in there and kept him. On, so quite happy with that. Quite happy with the positioning here. So he has achieved zero penetration by going for the witch off. <laughs> wow, Skuro. Is there something I can do here? Maybe. <sighs> so... Right, so. <laughs> I could surf his blitzer. Put in player here, player here, run around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, punch him, chain to there, block there, surf him. But. <laughs> that's maybe a bit stupid. Could dodge him out and then blitz with him. Or I could blitz 
to a thing. That leaves this side a bit weak. But also just dodge with him and blitz with him. Between J5 and I, we have three SFL championships on him. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, I think everyone should agree that four minutes is too long. And one minute is going to be short, too short for a lot of people, right? Like, obviously, J5 would be down with one minute. And I'd be down with one minute, a lot of other people would be. But one minute is definitely going to be too fast for a lot of people. So it's only between two and three. Realistically. A lot of people in leagues only like play one game a week and stuff, don't they? And they're a lot more casual. And... It is what it is. I can understand the three minutes. Yes, the UI is the problem with Blood Bowl 3. If it was okay to play, it would be. the time would be fine. <laughs> God, Skuro. Ableist Skuro, you wouldn't believe it, would you? Hello, Calcium? Yeah, zero minute turns is, is good Blood Bowl 3, yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, Gonna mess up. <laughs> brutal. Absolutely brutal. He just never stops, does old Scoorum. FFS. <laughs> As Calcium likes to say. Right, so we stand him up. Move him in. So we can punch him. Oh, but then he's then he's in that square, so we can't assist. <laughs> Who blitzes? I want to blitz one of these two. Do I just one day here? Then if it's a push or a power, I'm cancelling the assist to two D him and then blitz someone else. Yeah. Trap myself. Do I want to hear? I 
I mean, it wasn't a frenzy trap, but it was like, you know, made my. It was a necro blitz, is what I should have said. Yeah, it would have been great if you'd been there, Kaz. You and uh, you and Kalon were the big misses of UKTC. Yeah, Blood Bowl online is pretty much dead, yeah. Blood, I mean, as, as feared and predicted for the last 20 months, Blood Bowl 3 is so bad. But it was all like Blood Bowl 3 was always going to kill Blood Bowl 2. I mean, I've said that since the start. Like, too old, isn't it? It's just, you can't play like you know, the old game. So that's dead. And then Blood Bowl 3 is just so bad that there's a good chance it kills um, all online Blood Bowl, and I think that's what's going to happen. Hmm. A bit sad to use a reroll there, but maybe I was a bit greedy. Maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, Played that turn the way I did. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's exactly uh, that is what I've always said. Uh, it's, it is, it is, it's. You know, that's it. It's it's ugly and it's clunky, isn't it? It's just it's it's just work to play it. It's it's an ordeal. It's an ordeal to attempt to play Blood Bowl 3, even if they fixed all of the millions of problems that like people like Art don't like, you know, people are actually playing it. People are actually putting in hundreds of hours despite it being terrible. Um, even if they fixed all of those things, so what? I just don't want to play it. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> Orb was pretty cool. Right, so he's made a move by the looks of things. Yeah, they don't have it now, though, do they? The win losses, like, they don't, you just don't have them on video games now because everybody's, everybody's uh, equal and valid and. You know, how could you rank somebody on, on anything? You know, everyone's, you know, everyone's wonderful. Participation trophies for all. That is the, uh, the way of thinking these days, isn't it? So. <laughs> He has turned the corner a little bit, but obviously he's not moving. That he's not moving. The uh... Mr. Throw. I think I want to blitz this guy with a blitzer. Ooh, can this guy punch? Is that good? Maybe because it could knock him off. Oh, this is a 2D. Block. Ah. Instant regret. Now it just looks like dodging. Maybe this guy dodges to here and then a 1D the Black Orc. Maybe I should have blocked with him because it was pretty good pushing him and then pushing him away and then that freed up both blitzes. I don't have to reroll this, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> 
little bit dice there, but now the witch is around, you know, near a side line, and it's harder for him to go down the other side line. So, I think the side line control is acceptable. Not good, but acceptable. <laughs> yes, J5, there is an eternity to, to think about your play with three minute turns. But it means I can try, you know, I can use this three minute turn lead to try and talk about what I'm thinking a bit more here, like the old days, like the old days when I streamed and said we'll explain things before it, before it devolved into, into just putting pictures like this on the screen and going, ha ha ha, good day Nick's got short arms, ha ha ha, Stor's got a long neck, <laughs> you know, before it, before it devolved into that, I used to talk about the play. Can be mine. <laughs> Hello, Space Cadet. Absolutely glorious. Enjoy Flicky walking into a <laughs> walking into, <laughs> into a lamppost. <laughs> really sad we didn't get that film there. That would have been brilliant. That would have really been amazing, Skuro. Oh man. Oh man. Especially if we'd got a lamppost off between Flicky and PC. That would have been the absolute dream. But uh, yeah, thank you, Space Cadet. Welcome, Space Cadetians, to Era BB. A very cool little league um, not that little is there there's uh, there's like loads of people in it but you know uh, very cool privately compared to CCL it's little um, private league there's three seasons then a playoffs there you go <laughs> I mean he hasn't gone through the elves has he He has got a bit of penetration down the side. But he is in danger of getting a, a fella surfed because of it. He got lucky to get the uh, AV break there. If you ask me. Gonna finally commit Mr. Throw somewhere. It's turn six, so he probably wants to. Alright, Mr. Throw is in. Face him. The bad thing is, with this bloody stun, I'm going to have to 3 plus 2 plus out afterwards. And he's still got two turns to hand off to him in reverse. Two plus him off first. Good 
could just stay there. That makes it harder for them to get down the sideline here. <laughs> My tears no no bad. Like the obvious thing now is the handoff to that blitzer, isn't it? That is the obvious play to. Uh, if he doesn't do that, he can block the. Block all this shit down. Come through here. I mean, this, this dodge is pretty good to be fair. But you can block there, then come through, come down here and assist there and block there, so you can get a lot done. Whereas if he blocks here. He might not power. I don't know. I don't need a job to get hit. That is opening this sideline a little bit, but opening this sideline a bit is is pretty decent because this is pretty scary. This is the obvious play, the handoff to a blitzer. Maybe I should have gone like up here to. I've got two blitzers to try and get him. In. What have you? There are 11, 11 weeks in each season. Well, there's 12 technically, but yeah, 11 matches. Also, yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's 11 matches. I don't know. Maybe there's 11 weeks. There's 11 matches. So 33 games. And then after three seasons. Yeah, yeah so, so there's 11 games in a season. Then after three seasons, there's a cup. Which the latest cup you can see the, uh, the casting of on my YouTube. So there you go. Right, so he hasn't handed off to that blitzer. Interesting. So two GFIs are in the score. And the Black Hawks are not in range. So there's only linemen and these two blitzers at the moment. Well now he's got the fourth, yes. <laughs> he does the pass and gets the catch. Control the one being up and outrageous. So blitz him and then fill. This is actually difficult. I should have kept 
Let the guy hit one. I could blitz him and then fill in there and then 1D and push him back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. Or one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI for the one deer. Probably just better, isn't it? Instant one. Push. So he has to just stand up. Oh, I guess he could block. She could block. He could run to there. wasn't the best defense ever, was it? Didn't get a sniff of getting the ball. And in the end, <laughs> had to roll a lot of dice to make it not too difficult to score. <laughs> Ugh. Maybe I should have been more aggressive at some point. But then... It's pretty good to minimise hits, isn't it, when, uh, when the most important thing is levelling up your players. <laughs> Just needs the push, gets the power, of course. One of the hardest things he's got to do this turn done. That's pretty easy, isn't it? Two, two, three, or three, three. Probably three, three is better in a league, right? Because it gets you an SPP, and your player can't die. <laughs> GG. Didn't need the reroll at all. Just passed everything. I would say, like, I would say that's incorrect, despite it having higher odds to score. Just because, you know, your player can die in a GFI, and you get SPP for the for the throw, basically. Basically, I would I would put that marginally ahead in a league situation.
only in a league situation. Like, because the results don't matter, right? Season one, the results don't matter at all. <laughs> Literally, the only thing that matters is player development. So. No, oh, wish I hadn't used all my rerolls now. Diced. So I could put a play around there. It's probably not worth it. Yeah, might as well. Just lack of reroll really hurts. So blitz there, that gets you one forward, then another one forward. Then I've got to push my own guy forward somehow. It's such a ball ache. It's so much easier doing the last hits with the uh, with the witch elf, right? With frenzy. So I could just put this guy there, and then by the time you get to there, then you just do the frenzy hit twice. That's that's the easy way of doing the pushes. But three three two without a reroll. Like I'm not sure my brain is big enough to uh to do the move seven one turn without it to be honest. <laughs> okay, you can stop trying to be honest. Uh, uh, Somebody here, I don't I don't even know. We woe. Maybe I just push him directly along. Oh yeah, that's perfect, because then I get him one forward, and him. Oh, I should have had a player here, so then I would have had this player. Oh, that's where I needed a player. Fuck. Got him forward. <laughs> so now I have to push him to there and then push him to there and then push her the extra square. Right? She's not in a square now. Another 
Sache. So I do need the push. <laughs> um, I could fill this first, I guess. And then... I push her one forward instantly. I GFI there. Then I can push that into that. Which goes that into that. Or I could just move him. Push that into that, into that, into that. Yeah, I just can just move him, can't I? Imagine if I still had a player here, fuck's sake. Or here, or whatever. That pushes him, which pushes him one forward. And then the blitzer just needs this one filled, and like two other ones filled. I think that works. Three squares filled, yeah. Yes! <laughs> Flip me. Flip me. Yeah, I mean, I knew I had, th in my defense, I knew I had three minutes, okay? I, <laughs> I knew I had three minutes, in my defense. <laughs> I was pretty happy with that, to be honest. The one on the catch, the one on the catch made me thought I'd blow it. I got really lucky to get the extra reroll, didn't I? After using the rerolls on defense. Whew. <laughs> the six turn, yeah, the six turn, one turn was amazing. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, one turn touchdown defenses. <laughs> Congrats, but I hate you now. <laughs> oh, dear me. Whew. I'm pretty sure I did that suboptimally for what it's worth, but... <laughs> but hey, it worked, didn't it? That's the important. Also, I got, also I got the level up on the on this guy. He was on five, so he got the level up, and the witch got the level up as well. Glorious. <laughs> oh, wonderful, wonderful setup. So the Witch Elf stops these two acting on the Blitz, and he gets to Blitz. Back. He doesn't need to be up here, does he? Um, I guess one of the Blitzers can be back. Daka Daka. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna Daka every game, by the way. <laughs> that is that is non-negotiable, regardless of setup. The 
Gaka must be activated. Activated. No. Just got a new copy of print. Oh, I shouldn't leave this out loud. I shouldn't read it out loud. It's a J5 story. <laughs> Classic J5. Do, do people know you call J5? J5 is the bigger question. I guess they'd work it. They wouldn't matter that they knew it was. They wouldn't matter. You don't need to know your name because that's such a that's such a story. They'd realise it was you. <laughs> I can't believe nobody's ever thought of this. <laughs> you know it. Gotta make sure the uh, 6 SPP gun is defended. <laughs> daka daka. <laughs> I'm regret I'm instant regret of not going high elves, honestly. <laughs> That's true, Skuro, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've just scored a touchdown. Very good. Three SPPs. Dude, 
to start clicking intensively. What do I do here? I mean, I would like to score at some point. Fumbling for <laughs> glorious forest PP. It really is, isn't it? Yeah, no high elves, right? High elves could be catches passing it to each other so they'd have the reroll on the catch which make them way better but um being very lucky i mean each one was about 30 well not about it pretty much is a 30 percent it's not it is only about 30 percent isn't it what what is what is it let's let's have a look i know it's about 30 percent but i don't know exactly what it is it's 30 point Five six to fail, and then four of them. That's pretty lucky, isn't it? to exploit. Preferably with a pass. I've been obsessing about blitzing this guy and coming through this way, but obviously with these I can just punch, punch there directly. Three, three, two, around. Two plus two, like he is pretty good, isn't he? And then... And then... 
Yeah, I'll do this. It's funny, isn't it? Nice. Comedy Mega. Hello, Dimmy. Glorious. Oh, you're not for that. It's going very okay. Yes, Dimmy, there was a beautiful one turn that I scored. And uh, after a not not the best defence you've ever seen. Um, and the Dakar has re resulted in four completed passes, which is very nice. And a bit of a breakaway, which isn't complete yet, but is, uh, is pretty decent, isn't it? Vanity passing, hello lord. Yeah, no, Dells are pretty much the same in 2020. Yeah. Well, except they're like a bit more powerful, right? They've got, they, they've got more likely to get stats and guard and in, in, in Blood Bowl three, and in normal Blood Bowl 2020 to get, sneaky get dirty. Are you, are you gonna move to Ireland, Dimmy? That's pretty cool. Trapdoors are the best way to prevent the dagger. Tetney's correct because it crashes the game. <laughs> it's the best way to defend against anything. Do you know what surprised me in tabletop? Um, people just agree to not use trapdoors and stuff if they get it on the thing. I thought that was so weird. Yeah, the runner, yeah. But because but you, you, you kind of need the runner to, to help with two turns, right? The trapdoors are on the Blood Bowl 2020 pitches. Um, but the, the custom ones for the UKTC didn't have them on the pitch. And, it, and it's because people generally just don't use them, which shocked me, to be honest. It's actually pretty sad that I made that dodge now, right? Because occupying one of these would give me the switch through the centre, which I want to do now. But can I? That was a good turn from him. Annoyingly. <laughs> I could just 1D blitz and I'm good, right? I think I'd just win if I, if I roll a 3 plus right now. Or I could put in the assist and then blitz on 2D, so it's, it's an extra 2 plus, but it makes it more likely to work. And I could actually just dodge him off now, start with that. That looks good, doesn't it? Oh, but now I need someone to cancel that to hit. Or it's just I've got to make like I can't make this many two plus rolls.
bit shit. Need to roll some two pluses. That's a good one. That's a good one. And all of these to tag him out, but then it lets him move him, but and they can't even get there with him anyway. But it puts me on the right side, doesn't it? Which is good. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. Yeah, Nolly. You can be mine. Thank you very much, Nolly. Welcome, Nolly Raiders. To a wonderful bit of bloody bowels. Oh, rolling all the dice. Just like watching Nolly, look. What a dice rolling scumbag I am. <laughs> yeah, that does that does let him get the uh orc lino in the play, but it's pretty good having uh having these further up the pitch, I think that's worth the trade off. Actually playing Blood Bowl, yeah, Era BB. Era BB. I was very lucky scoring a one turn earlier and uh I've had pretty much good luck all the way through, really. Uh, nobody's died and has badly hurt an orc with a surf. Haven't really failed anything. It's been wonderful. Made four completions in the DACA. <laughs> well, the thing is, Nolly, you were probably at your peak at like 12 or something, weren't you? So... It's all downhill then. <laughs> all downhill from 12 year old. Yeah, I mean the six plus dodge, and then he's got up pill as well. As soon as he has like that. He's just gonna uh, face the ball. That's unlucky, isn't it? Stun. I mean, it's not obviously not that unlucky in terms of the odds, but unlucky in the impact with the jump up. Um, would be higher in you know, Yeah, it's huge, huge dodge there. the dodge now. Has to re-roll this because he's only got two more turns. Wow, doesn't re-roll it. I mean, technically he's got a turn 16, but obviously the turn 16 doesn't matter if uh, it's just for a one turn or whatever. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. So I'm two away. I'm safe from him. Yeah, 
motherfucker. That's a nine. I really want to do. I can do that later. Ugh, this is a nine because really need the, really need the power. Like a push is pretty awful. Yeah, so that tags him, which is oh, tails, lovely. And what can he do? He can go one, two, three, four, five, six to screen. He can't. He can't reach. So he can reach. So only these two can reach. We can go through that way to screen off against both of these. So he goes there, and then he goes one, two, three, four, five. Do I think do the one D? No, because that will push him in range. No, I need to touch. So this block is better than a dodge. Because then this guy can do the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So he can base, but who cares about basing him? Lovely. So now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's, he's got a double dodge. That's pretty much safe, isn't it? Pretty much safe, I would say. Oh, Christ. <laughs> My favourite fucking player, man! <laughs> Sad that I didn't get me. I could make another pass here on the last turn. <laughs> potentially. There's the potential for a pass play on uh, turn 16. That was tricky though. I think he did quite well on the defense though after the, uh, after the breakthrough. for a 1D. Which I guess you can double GFI to assist as well. Either way. Maybe I should have just dodged. This guy double dodged and then he would have still been... But then he could have chained him potentially.
So he's going for it. Four two pluses and two three pluses to get this. Maybe this guy should have been one over, and then him one over. Maybe that would have been better. Eh? Oh fuck off! Yeah, if these were both one over. Oh shut up! Diced. Oh well, that's okay. <laughs> Not actually diced. I didn't have a didn't have a reroll though, sadly. So it's not entirely easy. Right. Let us begin by smashing Mr. Throw. To absolute pieces. Mm, could punch him. Three, four, five, six. Can't make it a 3D. And I need my rerolls for this. <laughs> no point in surfing, Steve. If I don't get his feet Glorious. Yeah, I wanted to do like I wanted to do a, a GFI or even two, right? Um, but I just used my reroll on the first dodge, which was beautiful. Be be beautiful. Why did I say beautiful? Which is brutal. Whew. He could get a. Uh, could get a. Um, I'm always doing that. Pass. I mean, Rick would do those passes in the chalice, right? I'm just doing it because it's season one of a three-season league. That was a pretty successful game. This guy's on three, this guy's on two, this guy leveled, she leveled, and he leveled. Fantastic. Enjoy your turn. It is, isn't it, Dimmy? Yeah, thanks. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Glorious, thank you very much. Space Crime staying fantastic. For three glorious months, nearly the whole beaver pregnancy. Oh my god, speaking of beaver pregnancies and space crimes, I need to buy some fucking, what, what they call magnums. I'm going to have some magnums tomorrow. Oh. Oh. Fucking look. I don't know why I thought of magnums. But for some reason, I just thought from beavers, I went to magnums. <laughs> oh. I don't know why. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. I, I obviously I need magnum condoms for my magnum dom. Um, no, I meant the ice creams. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Ali Raid. The Magnums are amazing. I fucking love Magnums. 
Ice creams, not dongs. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, blitzers on setups are absolutely standard, aren't they? I mean, when you think about it, it's a lot of your kickoffs, right? It's it, a lot of your kickoffs are on turn 8 or 16, so it makes sense that you get a lot of blitzers then. <laughs> just, uh, just perception bias at work, isn't it? Really happy with that. Really happy with that anyway, because that was obviously really close to a draw or even a loss. Uh, there were some hairy points on the Dakar. Obviously, without the one turn, it wouldn't have been a win. So, really happy. I mean, overjoyed. Can't you tell? <laughs> really nice. Um, uh, I mean, maybe really happy was an exaggeration, but you know, it was. It was all right, wasn't it? <laughs> It was all right. I think one game a week is the perfect amount of good though. <laughs> to be honest. All right, rolled a five for winnings, two fame, 120k in the bank. Glorious. 80k winnings is really, really nice. And of course, the, the guy who got the completion got MVP as well. Absolutely standard shithead MVP. Um, I want to see the dice rolls here because I made a lot of dodges. Uh, actually, just completely average. <laughs> the GFIs were great. The passes were great. The catches were great. <laughs> that that was the best part. All of the all of the passes. Millions of SPP. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> I think it's a great, yeah, well, sorry, you know, like, in terms of the team, it's not a great MVP, right? I guess un unless he gets guard on it as his skill. If he gets guard as his skill, it's a good MVP. Let's have a look. He doesn't get guard, so it's not a good MVP. This one gets agility. I'm pretty sure we'll take agility. This one didn't level. And this one... Get anything good. So, yeah, interesting. I mean, Edge is obviously great. You'd rather have it second skill than first because Dodge is just better. <laughs> but, can't not take Edge. Um, which elf could go wrestle? Could go wrestle. I'm inclined, I'm inclined to go block. And dodge on the line, or seeing as a uh, five away from another level, so it could go a dodge lineman, and then uh, you know a, a guard dodge is going to be pretty good if he if he doubles or a stat and dodge. Um, but yeah, there you go, two and zero, oh. pretty nice. Uh, loads of loads of completions that game, which which was better than the first game, and uh, so yeah, loads of SPP. Up is very nice. So, yep, there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.